The Honourable Member for Vancouver Kingsway. We're in year four since the Prime Minister issued a mandate letter to the Health Minister directing her to lower prescription drug prices for Canadians. This was important because Canadians pay among the highest drug prices in the world and millions can't afford their medicine. Now, officials at the Patented Medicine Prices Review Board admit that they have abandoned their plan to reduce the prices that drug companies can charge Canadians. Will the Liberals admit that they have folded and betrayed Canadian patients because of pressure from the pharmaceutical industry? Yeah. Minister of Health. should not have to choose between buying groceries and paying for medication. And that's why that this government has taken action. As the government, we have joined the Pan-Canadian Pharmaceutical Alliance, where we're able to bulk purchase uh, drugs with all provinces and territories. And as a result, Mr. Speaker, we have saved billions of dollars. Also in Budget 2018, we were pleased to launch the Advisory Council on the Implementation of a National Pharmacare Program. We expect that report in March or in, in the spring of this year. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker.